What's your phone, Ryan? Why are you out there? Make that man take you to your sales call. Shirt so goddamn wrinkled. Oh lord, I'm in here falling apart. Wait, come on. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just ordering black. I'm just ordinary what hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm just ordinary black girl but you can call me destiny because that's what my mama named me anyways today i am back for another uh, whoa, 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 whoa. anyways today i am back for another episode of the office this will be season three episode five for me but first y'all know i like to do a little refresher of what happened last time okay what happened last time the episode was called grief counseling Ed Truck died. I ain't know him like that, but I know he was a good man deep down inside. But Ed Truck died. He was the old boss at uh, Screen. No, we no yeah we Screen Stanford Screen. He was the old boss at Screen and the one he used to be Michael's boss and Phyllis was there and Creed was there and he was they old boss. Michael got his job now and I guess you know. Like I said, it seemed that Michael didn't really care about his death to me until he found out how he died. Creed said that he was drunk driving, got his head took off. I'm still wondering how Creed knew that. Who told Creed that? What inside sources he got? I think he made it up personally. I, <laughs> I think he made it up. Cause he just was like, no, this is how Ed died. I don't know where he got that from, but I have no proof as to where he got it from so i have no choice but to believe it so uh what's his name ed truck died i guess ed died had michael thinking about his mortality and thinking about what would happen when he died and you know would people care and all that stuff so michael started doing what michael do he take things from there put them there and throw them over there oops anyway and throw them over there he he made the people get in a circle and tried to get them to talk about their feelings. Then the episode ended with a bird funeral. So yeah, that's about what happened to a child. Um, over there on Stanford, Karen like Jim. Yeah, that's about what happened. Anyways, I ain't even got to do too much talking about that subject. We gonna move on. The next episode is called Initiation. Mm -hmm. and i like to do a little guess so i guess when you get initiated into something you like join a group or something so maybe somebody's about to get initiated into something i don't know who maybe that one dude from the hangover i don't know his character name in the office yet but the one dude from the hangover maybe he gonna be telling jim it's time to get initiated into stanford for real i don't know that's my guess but other than that i don't know so yeah ain't no reason to keep talking about it so yeah we're about to get into this episode. I have two coins totaling 15 cents. One of them is not a nickel. What are they? A dime and a nickel. He said one of them wasn't a nickel. But oh. the other one is. I've heard that before. Okay. A man and his son get into a car accident. They are rushed to the hospital. The doctor says, there's no way I can operate on this boy. Because, because he's, he's my son. The doctor is the boy's mother. A man is found hanging. From the ceiling. He stepped on a block of ice, hung himself, and the ice melted. Hunter. It's a polar bear because you're at the North Pole. <laughs> what? Wait, they was coming at me so fast. Tell me what you did yesterday. Oh, Jan. Uh, she looks so pretty right nothing. here. Nothing. Jan is pretty, very pretty. I don't care how your day was, Michael. Aw. <sighs> wow. Well, okay. I don't care how your day was either, Jan. I was just asking you because you asked me. Tell Why me you set what me you up did like yesterday. That? I worked, and then I went home to my condo, and Carol came over, and we had sex. Sir. Never ever ever sleep with your boss. You didn't sleep with her, from what I know. So, Pam, I'd like you to keep a log of everything Michael does hour by hour, so that we can analyze it at corporate. Okay? Oh, I Thanks, don't know, Pam. Pam. Him. So you excited? Yeah. Very excited. Excited for what? Dwight's the top salesman in the company, and he's taking me on my first sales call today. Oh Lord. Ryan and Dwight out together? I don't know how this gonna mix. Let's see, child. Ryan and Dwight? 
Is he going to be a slacker, a loser, wise ass like Jim was? Mm. Or is he going to join the Dwight army of champions? So where's the sales office? Exactly, where are we going? The sales office will present itself to you. Your journey begins now. What the hell he got going on? My chair's squeaking. Is it? You took my chair. No, I didn't. I took back the chair that you took from me. These two. Mm. I guess, child. I guess there's something until him and Pam get it, get it together, child. There's something. Something better than nothing, Lord. I gotta accept what I can get from where I can get it, child. And if he gonna be flirting with her, Lord, let me accept it. Cosby. <laughs> I love Jello Pudding Pop. My son Theo loves Jello Pudding Pop too. <laughs> Attention Scranton Business Park. There will be complimentary pretzels available in the lobby from now until 4 o'clock. <laughs> Stanley was liking some pretzels. Once a year, they bring in a little cart and they give away free pretzels. It's really not a big deal. I to some people, it is. It is. Yeah, I see it is. So I'm just going to have my soft pretzel. I'll get to work and I'm going to be super productive. Look out for me. Oh, shh. Look at that line. All full of pretzel. I don't like pretzels. Well, I ain't never had one like that before, so maybe I like them if I had one like that. But the pretzels I've had, I ain't never liked. I am going to plant my seed. He got this in man you. outside in a suit on his oh, knees. You know, plant stuff. Smells pretty bad. Why is it? he doing this? Ryan, I think Ryan to be the type to be like, what this got to do with anything? I'm not doing this. Be right back. Okay. Oh my God, he's going to leave him there. Show for Ryan, why you out there? Make that man take you to your sales call. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. <laughs> okay, Stanley. Mm -hmm. uh, who invented cupcakes, right? Um, I want to kill Hey, them. hey, hey. Pretzel make them all happy, don't it? Oh, that's a man. Get in the back, please. Boom. Boom. Is it really this deep for some Brussels? Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. mm, Brussels bringing Stanley and Michael together? Hey, Dwight, you're a great salesman. Can you teach me? Sure, Ryan. I'll make you kneel in cow manure. I'll bet you in a beet field. Exactly. You shouldn't. What? Why? Why would you even be doing any of this? He done, yeah, this. Where he living? He done took him out to his school. Congratulations, resourceful salesman. Past the second challenge. Welcome to Shroot Farms. Love me, love me, say that you love me. Jim, stop being all cute. Love me, love me. This is not me, a proportionate say response. Say that you love me, fool me, fool me, love me, fool me. I don't care about anything but you. Okay. I thought uh, you might want to use this time to authorize some checks. I thought that maybe you could wait in line for He's me. not going to do that. Bathroom. You're an angel. Jim and just see how little he actually worked. But I feel like Pam will probably cover it up for him. She'll probably put some stuff down uh, to make him look like he be doing work. Really important that you be productive today. Pam. Because she's literally trying to help him. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready for the final test? Just... Hi, please tell me you have a sweet pretzel left. We do. Oh my God. And we have 18 different toppings. We have sweet glaze, cinnamon sugar, chocolate, white chocolate, M&M's, caramel dip, mint chip, chocolate That's, chip, marshmallows, fun. nuts, toffee nuts, coke. Maybe I should give me a pretzel like that. Is there any way that you could do all, all of them? The works, you got it. All right, thank you. What was that? Pay no attention to the spirits that haunt this hallowed ground. Is that your cousin Mose? Mose is my cousin, and he lives here. What uh -huh. is the greatest danger facing Dunder Mifflin? Outsourcing and consolidation of competition. Wrong. Flash floods. What is the true cause? I can't believe that Ryan is not back yet. Where could they be? Girl. I don't know. Dwight's so weird. He's not weird. He's just 
individualistic. Jerry better watch your mouth. That's her man. You're a freak. <laughs> I guess everybody ain't picking up on it. Fear is what it's all about. You cannot sell while undergoing fear. You need to vanquish fear. One must wrestle fear. Wrestle him to the this ground. This is over, okay? No, just no. Take, you're a freak. Fun. I'm not doing this anymore. And this is over. Ryan. Goodbye. Exactly, Ryan. Exactly, Ryan. Stand up for yourself. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> what Hi, is Ryan. what is this, and why is it happening? I am sorry. Modes is sorry too. Look, he sent over uh, a basket with eggs and some fat back bacon. And look, something he will. Fatback bacon? What the hell? Oh no. Oh no. He like, he don't play. I don't know why they'll do that. It's just, Jim and I didn't get along and I didn't want it to be that way again. Oh, he don't want to beef. He don't want to beef around. I just wanted to go on a sales call. Oh, screw gun. The sales call. And this deal actually had to happen. And he done took this man all the way out to the farm. Okay, I'm going to establish time frames. Good. I'm going to put everything in terms of real dollars. At least he actually helping them now. I'm actually giving them some good points. Carmel dip. But one question at a time, please. Phyllis! Stanley, I want you to switch desks. I'm going to reorganize and restructure the physical layout of the office to maximize everything. You got him a sugar rush? Michael is like a toddler. They really didn't like me. They did not. They didn't uh -huh. have to say it to your face. Oh, Lord. It. I don't get what I did wrong. Not everything's a lesson, Ryan. Sometimes you just fail. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no! No! Ryan! Yes! Ryan the Tap! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Courtesy of Dunder Mifflin! Oh! Come on! Drive! You do it! Are we building the friendship? He's uh, on a sales call. No message? Bye, Jan. Look at her covering for him. She really does care about Michael, huh? Probably kind of like a crazy big brother that she just helps out. Tim, Tim. Ryan, 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 yes! Just think that temp He's agency could have sent you anywhere. See, Ryan, you, you're in. You made it. Yay. This is a huge sale. Yes, right. Good. What is on his face? Because he slept on his desk like that? Dunder Mifflin. Uh, hey. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I forgot Kevin's extension. It's a fantasy football thing. Oh. So. So. Do you. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I. Um. Come on, give me. Give me just a little bit more, y'all. Give me some. How far away did you think we were? I don't know. It felt far. It did. It does, doesn't it? Feels very far. I feel it too, y'all. I feel it too. What? How many words per minute? Does the average person type? I type 90. Shut up. Mavis Beacon doesn't even type 90. It's true. Okay, I said average. 70? I was just about to brag. Forget it. Come on, no. tell me. No. You have to tell me now. 65. <laughs> okay, no need to just laugh. No, it's, that's respectable. How do you confuse 28 days with 28 days later? Because I got it at Blockbuster and they don't put the pictures on the box. No. Would I make that up? Yes. Hey, Ryan, are you okay? Ma'am? Yeah. Yes. Ma'am? Um. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, I should, I should probably, I should probably go oh, too. Oh, no, I was, um. I don't know, I, um. You have to go? No, wait, Jim, she wasn't talking to you. Oh, my God. We were just having a moment. Let's not make it weird again, guys. Bye, Pam. Bye, Jim. Oh, but they gave they gave me some. I just let me not be greedy. Let me accept what I got. I ain't gonna be greedy. Three hundred sixty-four days till the next pretzel day. Oh, Stanley, we gotta want better things for ourselves, babe. Okay, I just finished what season three, episode five of the Office Call Initiation. That was a very chill episode. Didn't too much 
then too much well what am i trying to say then nothing too crazy go on in that episode it was real chill real chill you know it was mostly about ryan and ryan he said ryan is no longer a temp he is a part of the team now he is a part of the screen and branch he has jim's old job he's not a, he's no longer a temp and it was basically him getting initiated into being a part of the office like when the white went from calling him temp to ryan he went with the white because he went he said that he was hoping the white would get him some temps some, some tips he was hoping the white would get him some tips on how to be a better salesman because the white is the highest paid the you know the top salesman there but no the white took him to his firm and had him in the dirt and sitting in the chair and wanted him to fight his cousin it was you know i i still don't know what or why oh what or why 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 that's just my question why why but ryan we got in at the end he he a part of the team uh on the flip side is stanford uh ryan karen and i still don't know this man character name not ryan but jim karen and the other dude i'm call him hangover dude until i figure out his character name hangover dude they had this chair that i was trying to see if my chair squeaked never mind they had this chair that squeaked and they was like passing the chair monkey you know, that's basically what went over there wasn't too much going on over there at all but at the end i told myself i won't get emotional but at the end pam and jim finally gave me something i just i just been wanting something out of those two just just a little bit of something just a I don't want the whole chicken. They can give me like a wing or something, you know, just something to let me know that all of the waiting I have done isn't for nothing. That they are actually going to end up together. If they don't end up together, I'm gonna be so upset. I hope this isn't just a forever slow burn. I can't take it anymore. Anyways, they finally gave me something. They talked on the phone, so that was something that that'll keep me through the night. I'll sleep tonight yeah but yeah that was about all they have in the episode didn't do much going on so i am going to end the video here because there's no reason for me to keep on talking now is it no so yeah mm, if you made it this far thanks for being here you ain't gotta be here but you are that's amazing you are amazing i will definitely be seeing y'all in the next episode of the office bye